that is it. Good fight. Good night. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Gen 7 Random Battles. We've got a Mudsdale out here, which uh, Pokemon we saw last week, he's got an Aromatisse and he did not see that Heavy Slam coming. Heavy Slam is a Steel type attack, so it's super effective against that little Fairy type. And uh, already, first turn, one Pokemon down. Really, really awesome. So I'm going to save that Mudsdale for a little bit later, send in the Whimsicott as he sends out a Feraligator. And he goes for the Dragon Dance, which is really, really fortunate, because my Whimsicott has Encore. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just keep him doing that. That's fine. You can keep doing that until uh, I end up KOing you. If he's smart, he'll switch out, and he does. Uh, he sends in the Giraffe Rig now, probably predicting a Grass-type move, and I think this Giraffe Rig has a uh, Sap Sipper. I know that's an ability that it can get, so I'm going to try and avoid using Grass moves. Unfortunately, uh, I forget that Stun Spore is a grass move, and uh, he ends up getting the, the Sap Sipper boost. Goes for Hyper Voice. Luckily, he's not uh, a physical attacker, which, uh, yeah, really good news for me. <laughs> so, Moonblast is able to drop his special attack, and Whimsicott should be able to weather a few more hits from it now. So, I can't get Leech Seed or anything on it, which uh, kind of sucks. I'm going to have to rely on just Leftovers Recovery. But that's fine. I should have enough gas to uh, overcome the giraffe rig. Just barely. <laughs> just barely. Thank goodness Whimsicott is faster. So uh, he's just spamming that hyper voice. I assume he has choice specs or something like that. Uh, he's going to save the giraffe rig for a little later, I guess. It sends out Cofrigus. Cof Cofagrigus. <laughs> and uh, that thing's going to eat a Moonblast as well, which drops its special attack. Um, that's pretty good luck on my part. Moonblast doesn't always drop special attack, but when it does, it is quite a savior. Hashtag Doseki's guy. <laughs> and uh, he gets the Shadow Ball going, which would be enough to KO me for sure without those uh, special attack drops. So really, really fortunate. Whimsicott is hanging in here and doing some damage, uh, but I'll save him a little later as well for some switching fodder. And uh, I can get a free switch into Beaverell because he's going for the Shadow Ball. Um, but yeah, he ends up switching out, so I got a free switch anyways. Now he's got the Feraligator, I've got the Beaverell. I don't really like my uh, odds here. I could try to curse or do something like that, but I end up just going for the return, hoping that uh, the, the early hit will uh, give me enough of an advantage to overcome this thing. Unfortunately, with one Dragon Dance up, he is going to two-hit KO my Beaverell with a pair of crunches. And that ain't no good. So, the thing to do now, probably Lee Vanny, um, also resistant to the water type attacks. Unfortunately, he was hiding the ice punch from me, and uh, Lee Vanny goes down immediately. So, I'm one Pokemon down now. Really not good. Um, and now, one of my favorites, Quillfish, is out here. Really good uh, physical defense on this thing. And I'm going to be able to KO it from 4% HP with a Waterfall, even though this does seem to be more of a, a defensive variant of the Quillfish. Um, I do have Destiny Bond, so I'm going to try and make some good use of that. And he brings out Necrozma now. Um, so hopefully this thing is going to go for a Psychic attack. I think it's Psychic and Dark, but he ends up going for the Automize, Atatomize, which uh, is going to increase his speed. And that means that he needs a Thunder Wave to end up preventing a sweep. He's not able to KO me with the Stone Edge. Although I do think he does have the uh, Psychic Attack. He's just saving it for later. So now he's paralyzed, which is going to help me out a lot. Not going to allow him to sweep at all. And then uh, a little more Destiny Bond just in case he does end up going for the, uh, the Psychic Attack. And uh, he's paralyzed there, which is interesting. I think I am going to taunt him, yes, just to make sure he doesn't autonomize again and then he will be able to overcome the paralysis, and that is exactly what he was trying to do. So good thing, um, now that he's taunted, I should be able to destiny bond him again, and uh, if he would attack me, then we would both go down. Unfortunately, or fortunately, he switches out again into the giraffe rig, so uh, yeah. Not quite sure what to do with this thing. I believe it has some uh, Psychic-type attacks, but 
Quillfish outspeeds it by just a little bit, and I am able to take it down with a waterfall. Like I said, for a defensive variant, it has a pretty good attack stat. I really do like Quillfish. Uh, the Necrozma comes back out now. So happy to see him, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for the Destiny Bonds. He thinks I'm going to go for Taunt, I think. So he ends up Psy shocking me. Boom, we're both done. <laughs> over and over. So now he's got two Pokemon left. I've got three, a little bit of an advantage to me, which is nice. He's got Beware, which is a normal and fighting type from the new generation. But uh, with its physical attacks, I don't think it's going to be able to overcome my Mudsdale very easily. So he goes for the Sword Stance. I go ahead and start Earthquaking because I see that he doesn't have any uh, flying type pokes or levitators. And he ends up going for the Double Edge, which with the Life Orb and Sword Stance behind it is definitely going to KO my Mudsdale. Really quite a scary Pokemon. Its attack stat is through the fucking roof, uh, although its speed stat does let it down just a little bit. It doesn't really matter because it's pretty bulky. Final Pokemon revealed, it is a Drudagon uh, out against his Cofferdigus. Cofferdigus? <laughs> um, but yeah, Outrage is going to do pretty good damage against it. Unfortunately, he starts going for the Pain Splits, which uh, adds both of our HP together and then divides it between us, which means he's going to gain and I'm going to lose. And uh, I am locked into Outrage, so that's just going to keep going. Now I've got the Confusion. I'm really hoping that he doesn't end up KOing me now. Uh, he goes for the Pain Split one more time. I think I'm going to uh, probably go keep going for Outrages, risk the Confusion, and I do hurt myself, which is not good at all. I'm going to end up probably having uh, Whimsicott have to do the last part of this battle, which is a scary prospect because I think it's only at like 9% health or some shit like that. So Dredagon is confused, luckily he does get the Outrage going, which is probably what uh, bagged this game for me because he goes down to a Shadow Ball now and we are both at just a sliver of health. We are both in the red. This is a really, really close game. And uh, like I said, that's just how I like it, but also, uh, yeah. Quite scary. Whimsicott, luckily, is faster than the Cofferdigus, and down it goes. Whew! Really close one. <laughs> I hope the second battle's not that close. <laughs> we'll find out soon. Come join me. Alright, here we go. Second battle against Squawk Boys. We got uh, Rotom Wash out against his Hypno. Really, two super bulky Pokemon. I'm gonna end up Volt switching out of here. It does okay damage, but I'm not gonna last with that Life Orb attached. I end up going into Shedinja, which uh, really a cool Pokemon. Only 1% HP, or 1 HP, so oh, he hits me with that Toxic and Shedinja is going to go down immediately. I was hoping he would go for Psychic or some, uh, phys or some sort of attacking move, but that is not the case. I should have seen that coming, probably. But uh, now I get a free switch into Groudon, which is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, he reveals now that he has the Protect. And that is a bit of a waste, since I'm just going to be setting up Stealth Rocks this turn. And so he can't protect on the next turn. I'm going to go ahead and smash that thing with an Earthquake. Pretty good damage on that, 53%. Uh, but he does get the Toxic on my Groudon. I'm going to try and keep uh, pushing. See if he goes for the Protect again, which he probably will. I was hoping that he would uh, try and out-predict me and predict the switch and go for Psychic or something like that, or another Toxic. But that is not the case. He makes the uh, the straightforward play, the smart play, and just goes for the protect to get the toxic damage racking up. He double protects here, which is a risky thing, but apparently paid off. Uh, it only has a 50% chance to work the second time around, but uh, apparently it's his lucky day because he gets it going, and I am taking some massive damage from toxic. The leftovers was not enough to heal him back up enough to live through the earthquake. Um, but yeah, my Groudon is definitely hurting. We're at 58% after, I think, three rounds of Toxic or something like that. Quite de dooming indeed. So he sends out the Miss Magus. I'm going to switch out my Groudon now to keep the Toxic from getting any worse. And uh, hopefully he just goes for a Shadow Ball. Boom! He misses because I switch into my x Cloud, which is immune to the Shadow Balls. So, um, pretty good. We've got Choice Specs on this x Cloud. And unfortunately, Fire Blast did much less damage than I thought it would. Um, I forgot about Miss Magus' special defense, which is pretty, pretty big. 
compared to its regular defense, which is pretty, pretty tiny. So I'm going to go back into the Groudon now, thinking that he's going to go for the Thunderbolt again, so I can get the free switch in. Yeah, check that out. Double free switches, what, what? And uh, hopefully I can smash this thing with a physical type attack, and uh, yeah, it should help me out considerably in this fight to get rid of that Miss Magus. So here we go, Lava Plume with the sun up. It's not a physical attack, he does have Levitate, so I can't use the Earthquake. Um, kind of just praying for the burn at the moment, but now he does have a nasty plot up, which is going to hurt. Yeah, that Shadow Ball takes my Groudon down. Baboosh! That's really sad. Really sad to see. Legendary Pokemon, dead. So, I've revealed four of mine, I've lost two of mine. He's revealed two of his, lost one of his, which means he's doing uh, quite a bit better than me <laughs> in this fight. Uh, the Palkia takes pretty good damage from the Thunderbolt. I go ahead and Dragon Tail that Miss Mage is out of here now to get rid of the Nasty Plot, and uh, I end up switching in a Steelix. I do want to see some other members of his team. Um, Steelix is a pretty dangerous poke, but um, yeah, against Palkia, not so much. Palkia is water and dragon type, so unless he has Earthquake or something, his same type attack bonus moves are going to be resisted. He just ends up putting the uh, Toxic on my Palkia, switching out of there. And Zapdos is the next poke up. One of those good old legendaries, my goodness. I end up going for Hydro Pump, uh, meaning to KO the Steelix, but I got the Zapdos instead, which is just fine. It does have enough to take me down with a Thunderbolt, but that thing also goes down to its Life Orb damage. Those Life Orbs, boy, let me tell you, hmm, I don't know about that. I don't like it, I don't trust it. <laughs> Anyways, the Miss Mages is back for one more go. Um, I really don't like this thing much at all. <laughs> So it goes for Thunderbolt against my Rotom, which is fine. I guess he was predicting a switch into the X Cloud again, so I could get that free switch. But I just end up going for Hydro Pump, which uh, misses. Of course it misses. Why wouldn't it miss? So I'm eating Shadow Balls to the face. There my Hydro Pump hits. Thankfully enough to take that thing down, but uh, Rotom Wash is definitely hurting after uh, a couple of Shadow Balls. So he reveals now that he has that that lovely Alola Raticate I think I was talking about last week. And uh, it is dark and normal type, and it ends up getting the Sucker Punch. I thought it would try and do Sword Stance or something like that, activate a Flame Orb. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be able to stand up to my Hitmonlee, which is my final Pokemon. I know this is going to also take down his Steelix, so I am relatively uh, happy with the end of this fight. I think that his uh, last Pokemon is also weak to fighting, and it is. It is a Hound Doom. So that is it. Good fight. Good night. <laughs> I've been Brandon Dayton, friends. Your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a tur twig in the mail. It's it's not a Pokemon. It's just a twig with a turd on it. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. And until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.